Hi, Meredith here, and I'd like to show you the easiest way of building email-driven apps. We're going to build a disposable email service, so you can send email to any address at this domain, and anyone can view any inbox. This is possible because of our new email service, which makes receiving emails as simple as writing one Python function. Let's get started. I'm opening Anvil, creating a new app, and adding the new email service. Now if I have a server module, and I make a function tagged at anvil.email.handle message, then this Python function will get called for every new email we receive. Let's set this app's domain in the publish dialog. And now we'll receive all email to anything at disposableemail.anvilapp.net. OK, so we want to store each new email in a database. We'll add the data tables service and make a table for the messages. We'll store the from address, the to address, the subject, the text, and when the message arrived. So now, in my server module, when a message arrives, we'll just add a new row to that table and fill out each of these columns with data from the message. Let's test it by sending an email to someone at disposableemail.handleapp.net. If we refresh the data table, yep, it got there. Our app is ready and receiving emails in a little over a minute. Now we're going to build a web UI that lets you view the inbox for any address you choose. Anvil's visual interface designer makes this fast. I'm going to start with the home page, where you can choose any inbox. So we'll want a text box for that, and a button to proceed to the inbox. We'll lay all these out with our drag and drop designer. Once we've selected an address, we'll open a new page to display its messages. We'll take the email address as a parameter to our constructor. We'll want to display the number of messages and then display the messages themselves. We'll use a repeating panel to display rows from the messages table. For each message, we'll have a card displaying the from address, the date received, the subject, and the text. We'll format them all appropriately. And then we'll use a data binding to set the text of each label from columns in the database. These are all just Python expressions. Right, our repeating panel can now display any database rows we give it. So let's go and get them from the database. In Anvil, you can return rows from the data tables from server code to client code. We'll make a function in our server module that takes an address and returns all the messages for that address. And then mark it as callable, so now in the inbox on the client side, we can call that function and tell the repeating panel to display those database rows and show how many there are on that label. So now we've built the inbox page and we just need to wire it up. When you click this button on the home page, we open the inbox form and pass the email address from that text box to its init function. Alright, let's see it in action. We've just built a working disposable email service in no time at all. You can open the app yourself in the Anvil editor and see its source code by clicking the link under this video. To learn more about Anvil and see how we built that UI so quickly, go to anvil.works learn for the rest of our tutorials. See you next time.